Hey, this is Alexei from Ace5 Studios, and this is Materials 107. I'm going to talk about the difference between alpha channels and transparency in Cinema 4D Material System. You will have noticed that there is two channels here, in which one is called alpha, and one is called transparency. And if you, for example, go to alpha, and you put in a, let's get a checkerboard, surface checkerboard, you can see it's see-through, and if we make this like two, oh, three or four or something, by four, it'll be see-through. Now, if we copy this texture, oops, okay, if we copy this texture and we plug it into our, let's turn off our alpha and plug it in transparency um, into our texture channel, you'll see roughly the same thing. It looks pretty much identical, but there is a significant difference. Like right now, if we render, it looks like that, and if we turn off our transparency and turn on our alpha, it looks the same. But transparency is like glass. It's like a quality of a surface, whereas alpha is just masking away the material. So if we make another material, and let's make this guy pink, for example, and plug it on the sphere, plug it at the bottom, if we enable our alpha material in this one. Let's actually make a copy of this one. Let's call this one alpha and copy and drag it and call this one transparency. So we definitely know. So if we have the alpha material here, just drag it on this icon to replace it and we go to the render view. You can actually see the pink stuff underneath it because it's basically layering one material on the other. So you know if the, you can change the pink materials color or reflectance or whatever it is you want to do and it will change. You can turn off your Fresnel and it'll be a chrome ball and you know there's all kinds of stuff you can do. So you can layer materials this way. But if we drag the one and says it has transparency, not alpha turned on, we haven't turned on transparency, and we drag it in here, the blue stuff will disappear because it's actually a glass material. To make this more obvious here, we'll let's drag up the refraction to and you can see now it's actually refracting. We can also turn the blurriness up. And you said it's actually a glass material, it's not just see-through. So, for example, if we enable this plane, which is in front of it, and we can apply this transparency to it, you will see that it's actually applying glass. And if you apply it, so that's like, it sees through it. And like, if we apply a blue material to the bottom here, it doesn't have any effect. But if we put alpha, then we can't see through it anymore, even though the alpha is see-through. So that's the main difference between transparency and alpha. One is, a, transparency is more like glass, so it's an actual physical property, whereas alpha is just basically masking away and removing uh, the areas where this material is functioning. Like you can grade it, you can fade it in, but it basically just, it, so it lets you layer one material on top of another. And that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. Go and make sure to watch my previous series if you haven't yet on using black and white maps to control materials. This is just a natural progression from there. This is Alexei from Ace5 Studios. Make sure to check out my website and all other kinds of stuff there like rigs and there's free rigs and some premium rigs and way more tutorials. So yeah, if you have any comments or requests, post them down in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you.